Okay, these are from, I think, Friday last week, our last class. Um, close, but not too close. So it's okay to be, you know, kind of close to another car, but not too close. This, um, this phrase here, this sentence is from um, Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, the third movie, 1982. I don't know, you know, fly close to him, get close to him. And then he says, I don't know, fly, fly casually. It's a joke because fly casually doesn't exist. Now, but this is common. It's okay to be, get close, but don't get too close. You can use this for you know, cars, informally for aircraft, um, relationships, friendships. Go easy on yourself. You know, cut yourself some slack. Remember, this is slack, slack in the rope. You know, don't be so hard on yourself. Um, cut yourself some slack, I'd say, on a scale of 1 to 10 is about a 8 or 9. We use that quite a bit, I would say. Um, read a book, read up on, look into, study up on. Remember, when you read up on, it's something, uh, you know, shorter. Like, hey, oh, I forgot that historical fact. Uh, I'm going to go home and read up on it. Study is too strong. I'm going to study all night. I'll look into it, you know, find information, use these more. Get ahead of the airplane, get behind the airplane. So the guy in the documentary says, yeah, they let the airplane get ahead of them. It means they weren't controlling it, controlling the schedule. Maybe get behind something is good for your schedule too. Uh, I kind of got behind on my schedule. I'm sorry I didn't uh, finish that. Um, I say something too early. And then I say, I'm sorry, I kind of let that get a, I kind of got let that get ahead of me. Sorry that I forgot about our meeting today. Uh, my schedule's been pretty hectic. I was staying ahead of it of my schedule, but I've just been too tired lately, and I've gotten behind. Common sentence. Screw things up, mess things up, f things up, flub things up. This is very informal. Get things mixed up. Ah, sorry, I made that mistake. I got things kind of mixed up. Um, I can't seem to get any traction with this thing, with these guys. Like, I'm trying to make progress, but, you know, you're just working really hard and nothing changes. You know, this tire has good traction. This tire has no traction, right? I'm not making any progress. I can't get it to stick. Um, his brain has been pretty much flooded with the English language. Okay. Flooded. Um, rice fields are flooded. Corn fields are not. I hope that this is uh, your brain, especially Young Day's brain, <laughs> um, when we meet. Um, this was from the uh, video we watched. They say that the landing gear is stuck, it's pointed sideways, it's locked into position, it's cocked to the right, you could say. Um, that cocked is used for guns, cock the gun, but half cocked is kind of dangerous, right? Go off half cocked. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is about a 3 or 4. Um, we listen to that video and they say, ah, verify you have enough room to get there, in reference to some Sun Country Airlines. You can use this for driving. Okay. Do you have enough room behind you and to your left? Nice picture, huh? Uh, get out there, send out, send. Um, I sent an email last night. I sent out an email to all the guys last night. Out means farther away to more people. Um, you'll hear this a lot in the in the videos. All right, we're going to send an emergency vehicle to you. We're going to send out an emergency vehicle to you. Very similar, but this is more maybe more direct. Out is in your direction. Get choked up. I, I was a little sad last week. Got a little teary eyed. Sorry, I got a little choked up there. A little teary eyed um, there because I was thinking about mo mo mo. I hope I got this right for mo mo mo. Remember again, I put there in there twice, but there sounds a little bit more formal. Or no, I'm a little bit more polite, if you remember that. Okay, we're on the final leg, we're on the home stretch, the final stretch. Take us home. I like this for, you know, rock music, movies, battles. This is common. How many words do children know? Um, like, for, like, you know, four years old. Four-year-olds. Um, I've heard they know usually about 1,000 words in their active vocabulary. 
but there are other studies that say children need to learn 2,000 to 3,000 new words. That's a lot of words. And if children know them, we can learn them.